In this tutorial, I am going to show you how to design this beautiful infographic in PowerPoint. Keys that I am using during the design you can see at the below bar. Follow these keys and watch the video till the end. Go to format background. I am going to give it some gradient color and uh, change the color, the stops color one by one. This one and a little bit lighter in that row. Yes and it is going this stop is going to white yes go to insert and rounded rectangle shape and drag it on vertical and uh, i'm going to make it okay Control d to duplicate it for later use and go to insert take another rounded rectangle and i'm going to draw a small one rounded rectangle and place it here go to combine and uh, go to insert again and uh, take this arrow shape okay drag it to the left and right i'm going to place it here to check whether it is okay or not yes go to insert I'm going to take another rectangle and uh, fix it this, this size to the arrow. I'm going to place it here and go to up a little bit and uh, let's, uh, let's zoom it. And uh, I'm going to shape outline, make it no outline okay shape outline make it no outline now edit point oh sorry select one of these and go to edit point edit shape and edit point i'm going to drag these anchor point to the corner of uh, this arrow align perfectly that uh, when it becomes union it doesn't uh, looks like up and down okay i'm going to align it perfectly if you have any in case you can uh, hold alt and uh, you can fix it perfectly shape makes sh union and uh, i'm going to put it here shape outline make it no outline i'm going to make its color uh, to give it a different one color and I'm going to give it the gradient and I need only two stops. I am going to delete the third stop and give it some gradient. You can give according to uh, your desired colors, according to your uh, logo color, according to your company color, you want, what that color that you want you want. I'm going to give it a gradient one color and make three stops and uh, this end of the gradient uh, scale linear from uh, right to left and uh, i'm going to make this the center stop is little bit uh, white light color go to more color and make it light that the gradient uh, become visible okay from uh, right to left and i'm going to place it perfectly and place it here i'm going to give it some shadow effects this one it will be okay 
transparency i think so 79 70 maybe okay one or two size blur will be i think so six is okay Control shift c and Control shift v to transfer the effect of this shape to the other rounded rectangle shape i am going to make its color i am going to give it some gradient color with the gray and white light gray and white color i am going to give it gradient okay i need only two stops i am going to uh, delete extra stops give it some light gray color and uh, white color direction now from yes white color give it white color okay bring to front this shape and uh, place it here now I'm going to give it some shadow effect also. Okay. You can uh, fix this uh, shape, that white shape, according to your text. You can make it uh, bigger in vertical size, make it align perfectly. I'm going to give it a line also gradient, a stroke also gradient. The gradient of the stroke will be inverse of the fill gradient. I'm using some keys that you can see at the below bar. Follow these keys and uh, these keys will become your uh, time short and you can uh, make uh, your uh, design in very short time by using these keys okay line gradient uh, is uh, light gray and white i'm going to make it width uh, bigger in size take an all shape by holding shift alt and drag it select this one control shift c and uh, select this all shape and control shift v to transfer the effect of this shape to the another shape I have some written text. I'm going to bring it to the slide. Yes, yes. First of all, I'm going to need some text. It is going people. Select. Oswald. And enter. Now place it at the center of the arrow. I'm going to make it bigger in size. Make it white. Yes, now it's look very visible and it's look very pretty. I'm going to give it some shadow effect to this arrow also. 79, 102, blur. I think the make its blur a little bit reduce the blur. Yes, it's okay now. I have some written text that I have all right all ahead to save the time place this text at the center of the 
shape and uh, select all control D to duplicate it and control D to dupl duplicate it again you can uh, uh, increase these sizes by holding by clicking control D according to your requirements people research and uh, is going goal may our growth growth okay I'm going to give it some different color. I think this will be okay. Also change the arrow color according to the shape. And in these three stops make the center stop a little bit light in color that the gradient become visible first of all select this one yes it's okay give it some more different color and uh, give it uh, a gradient color also Go to more color and make it a little bit light color that the gradient become visible. Okay, press okay. I'm going to give it these stops the darker color. Yes. I need some icons. Go to the icon tab. Here you can uh, find uh, icons according to your text. Just uh, select here and uh, search uh, the icon that you re you have required you are required i need people okay research yes this is okay and uh, Grow for growth. I'm going to take this one color, this one, insert and bring it to the slide by holding Shift Alt and make it a smaller in size. Now place it over the all shape one by one. and make its color according to the shape color thank you for watching please subscribe my channel and if uh, you have not subscribed please subscribe it and hit the bell icon to get the latest design and uh, thank you for watching thank you